Hello, and welcome to this special edition of the Daily Decrypt, independent member of the LTB network. I am your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by Newbits. Lots of people want to know how they can get Bitcoin without using an ID. Here are the top five ways. Number one, local Bitcoins. Local Bitcoins has on the ground buyers and sellers in nearly 13,000 cities around the world. You can meet up with someone to pay cash, send them money through PayPal, Nutella, Skrill, or Dwala, or arrange to deposit cash at their bank branch. Fees are set by the individual sellers, and local bitcoins acts as escrow. Number two, Mycelium Local Trader. Mycelium Local Trader is a feature built into the Mycelium mobile app, and it's available globally. It uses your phone's location to create a listing of everyone in your area who uses Local Trader to sell Bitcoin. Fees are set by the individual sellers, and you meet in person to exchange cash. Number three, Wall of Coins. Wall of Coins is available throughout the US, Canada, Poland, and the Philippines. A Bitcoin seller whose bank has a branch near you gives you their bank account number, and then you visit that bank's nearest branch and deposit the cash in person. Wall of Coins acts as escrow and releases the Bitcoin to you once they've verified that the deposit has been made. Fees are set by individual sellers. Number four, Liberty X. Liberty X is available at thousands of convenience stores in the US, where you make a cash deposit and the store teller gives you a Liberty X code. This code is then redeemable for Bitcoin using the Liberty X app or website. The service fee is 1%, but Liberty X takes no fees on your first $1,000 worth of Bitcoin if you sign up using Facebook. And number five, Paxful. Paxful's service is similar to Wall of Coins in that Bitcoin sellers whose banks have a branch near you within the US give you their bank account number and you make a cash deposit in person. The service is also available globally in that some of their sellers accept Western Union and MoneyGram transfers. Sellers set their own fees, and Paxful acts as escrow. Finally, in the honorable mention slot is your local Bitcoin meetup. Check out meetup.com or even Facebook to see if there is a Bitcoin meetup near you, where you will find that there's always plenty of Bitcoin buying and selling going on, and you might even get a discount. Today's episode has been brought to you by Newbits. One new bit has maintained almost exactly a one US dollar value ever since it was launched in 2014. This is possible because holders of new shares on the new network cast votes for monetary policy that keep one new bit pegged to the US dollar. Learn more about achieving relative stability in your cryptocurrency at newbits.com. Share this episode with someone you think might benefit from it and have a great day. <laughs>